Hello, I'm Quentin, and in episode 191 of Mac Power Users, I talked a little bit about my paperless workflow and how I found it useful to be able to visualize this and some of the, the little hacks I'd done to, to make it all go a bit more smoothly. And a few people have contacted me asking for a little bit more information. So let me just show you how it works. When I open the lid of my ScanSnap scanner, which I'll do now, A set of windows pop up on the right hand side of my screen. Now they're a little cramped here because I'm using a much lower resolution to do this screencast than I would normally use, but you can get the idea. Um, these are opened by the way by uh, Keyboard Maestro. So I can show you the thing that does that. This is a thing called Show Paperless Workflow and um, this is called from a more from a higher level thing that's triggered when I open the scanner. What it does is it opens this folder and moves and resizes it to a position that's based on the proportions of the screen. So even when I've changed screen resolution like this, it still works. And uh, it does that for each of the four folders. Uh, and that's basically what's behind those windows popping up. There's a similar one that, um, that closes it when, uh, when I close the lid of the scanner. And what happens when I scan a document is that the ScanSnap software scans it into Scan Inbox and then runs um, an Apple script which passes it to PDF Pen Pro to do OCR on it. Now I need to do that because I have elderly ScanSnap software which doesn't have the OCR built in itself. Once it's been OCR'd it gets dropped into this folder called Scan Inbox Post OCR. And that, um, in there, a set of Hazel rules uh, look at it and see if they can come up with a sensible default name for it. So for example, if it's a PDF that contains my bank account number, then it will be renamed with today's date and bank account statement or something like that. Once the first rule that thinks it has authoritatively renamed it in here um, uh, gives it a new name, it moves it into scan inbox post rename because I want to be able to check this. I don't necessarily want to rely on the rules getting it right every single time. And so um, I want a way to uh, have a look at the file, um, which may by this point have been scanned a little while ago, because the OCR takes some time. I want it to show me the file and ask me just to check the name, whatever it may be by this point in the system. So I'm going to drop this file in. Normally it wouldn't be me, it would be a Hazel rule that had done this. And we will see that a Hazel rule picks this up and pops it up on the screen in preview so I can see it, I can check which document it is, I can maybe look at the date to decide which date to give the file if the um, previous steps haven't done that automatically. And in this case I'm just going to call it smoke alarm manual and click OK and you see preview closes automatically and it's dropped through into the action folder where other uh, Hazel rules would normally kick in and do something with it. I'll take it out of there for the moment. So how does that actually work? Well, the final stage here, this folder has a Hazel rule watching it, which I will show you. Open Hazel. Uh, scan inbox post rename has a rule called prompt to rename and then move to action. And if I look at that, we can just see it's checking to see if the extension is a PDF, then open with this application, which is my little automator workflow called prompt to rename OCR to PDF. I'm good at these snappy names. Okay. Um, and uh, I have that open here in automator so you can see what it looks like. Now, Automator is not really very much of a programming language, and the only way I can make it do anything even vaguely useful is um, by making use of a lot of variables. And so you'll see those coming throughout this workflow. When Hazel runs this, it will give it the PDF file almost as if it had dragged and dropped it onto there um, or had opened this application with that file. So what you get in is the PDF file itself. And the first thing I do is I save that value. So I set the value of a variable to, um, I call it the file, again, these imaginative names. Um, uh, and that's gonna be the full name of the file that was, uh, that was given it by Hazel. Then I 
open it with preview. So preview will pop up with that uh, um, PDF in it. Now, the next thing I want to do is get the bit of the file name that I'm interested in. I don't want to deal with all the folders. I don't want to deal with the PDF extension. And so I'm going to use a bit of shell script and run the, the shell utility base name here, uh, which um, this is given uh, just one item. And so it's the first item here. You say base name dollar one. And uh, this also means strip off a .pdf extension. And what you end up with is just essentially the core name of the PDF which I then save as a variable called base name, file base name. Um, the next thing that happens though in the workflow is um, I run this bit of Apple script, which brings this workflow, the one we're looking at, to the front. Um, because I want to make sure that the dialog box I'm about to pop up is in front of anything else that might be running, including the preview that's just popped up. Um, but anything else that might have been happening on my screen beforehand. So I tell application prompt to rename OCR PDF. You would need to get that exactly right, whatever you decide to call it. Tell it to activate, and that means make sure it's running, uh, which it will be obviously in this case, but also bring it to the front. Then I have an action ask for text, and all of these are standard actions. There's nothing magic here. If I search for ask, you can see ask for text is one of the actions. Uh, that I can drag and drop into my workflow. And I'm going to ask, I'm going to prompt with um, new file name. That's what I'm going to display to the user. And the default value that I'm going to put in there is file base name, the value of the variable that we set up above um, as being essentially the core of the PDF name. And the output for that is going to be a string, which I'm also going to save in a variable called new name. So I now have lots of variables. I've got uh, the original file name, full file name, which I save as the file. I've got file base name, uh, which is the core of it. I prompt the user it, if they want to change that, then the thing that comes out will be called new name. And then I run this Apple script, another simple Apple script, which um, says tell application preview to close the front window. Now, this used to be a lot harder. This, you need a recent version of Preview, a recent operating system to do this, because Preview used not to have any Apple script support. And so you had to do all sorts of funny stuff with system events, uh, effectively going and clicking the, the file um, close button. And uh, this is a great deal easier now. So then I go back and get the value of my original file name, the file, and I'm going to rename an item, I'm going to rename the, this file that comes in. Um, I'm only going to change its base name and I'm going to change it to the new name. And then finally, um, I'm going to move the resulting finder item to the action folder. So that's basically how it works. Uh, and what you get when you save this as an application is, so you get an application that looks like this. And if you give it any PDF, yeah, it will pop up preview, ask you for a file name, and if you click OK, it will save it in your action folder where other Hazel rules can take over. There you are. I hope that was useful. And I'm now going to close the lid of my scanner.